Hi boys and girls, Dr. D here. Today we're gonna to talk about a giant in the jazz world, Duke Ellington. Duke Ellington was born in 1899 and died in 1974. So if you remember, George Gershwin was born in 1898, died in 1937. So they were colleagues. They were born within a year of each other, but Duke Ellington had a much longer life than George Gershwin. Duke Ellington's real name was Edward Kennedy, Kennedy Ellington. He got the name Duke because as a young guy, he liked to dress in dapper clothes. And so his buddies gave him the name Duke. When he started his career in 1920s, he was in New York City and he started working at the Cotton Club in Harlem. In the 1930s, he toured with his band in Europe. He was famous for writing these miniature three minute pieces that fit on a 78 RPM recording, something that was very ancient in your lives, a very small recording, even when, as even I hardly remember that, very small records. And you could only have three minutes on those records. So today I'm gonna play for you two of his giant pieces. They're called standards. Standard means in the jazz world that every really reputable jazz pianist learns to play these pieces. They're very popular. The first one is Take the A Train. He was collaborating with Billy Strayhorn and Johnny Mercer. So there are some words to this, but um, today you're only going to hear the instrumental. I want you to be aware that I am not a jazz pianist. So I am playing from a score where another professional musician has created a score for me that would sound like what a jazz pianist would play. But a genuine jazz pianist would be playing the tune without any music, improvising right at the moment. And that is a skill that I, I, I don't have and I have great admiration for jazz pianists that have it, but it's not my gift. So this is Take the A Train, and it's been transcribed to make it sound like a genuine performance by a jazz pianist.
to play one more standard by Duke Ellington called Satin Doll. This was written in 1953, another very famous piece, also one of the standards for jazz pianists. He was joined by Billy Strayhorn and Johnny Mercer, and this was considered his last, quote, pop hit. I don't think that he was as well known after this piece. This is probably the most famous one at the end of his career, although he continued to perform for many years after that. All right, so Satin Doll is the same situation. I am playing a transcription of what a jazz pianist might play, but in real, in a real authentic performance, a jazz pianist would be playing without score and, and doing it by ear and improvising. So this is Satin Doll. Classroom, I will direct you to two YouTube performances of these pieces, Satin Doll and Take the A Train by professional jazz artists, famous jazz artists, Ella Fitzgerald and the Duke Ellington Band. And I encourage you very much to listen to them because these are the very best performances of these pieces that I know. Until I see you next week, have a wonderful week. This is Dr. D.